Let's let's Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Will here with another one. So um, first, before we get into the topic of today's video, I want to go ahead and just ask a quick question to everybody because um, yesterday my car, it cut off in traffic and uh, it fired right back up and nothing seems to have been uh, gone wrong since. But uh, if you have any idea what my problem is, because I didn't get any codes or anything. So if you have any idea what could cause this, uh, please let me know in the comments. Let's get right into the topic of today's video now. So uh, I get asked the question all the time on YouTube about people's BMWs just not getting the fuel economy that they need to get. And, um, you know, it's really hard to answer the question. I, I always kind of run off a list of things that you need to check. And, you know, hopefully in that you can find something. Um, but I'm really kind of tired of answering the question a lot. And, and it's not that I don't like answering questions. I try to answer everybody's comment. But uh, if I have to answer the same question over and over and over, it just says to me, make a video on it. This is a popular topic. People want to know this. So, um, yeah, why is my BMW getting really bad fuel economy? So I, I compiled eight reasons. Uh, there's obviously could be many more. Oh, the sun is getting bright out there. Let's see if maybe if I turn the camera a little bit this way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so yeah, there, there could be many more reasons than this, but... These are just uh, some ones that I came up with that are pretty common and uh, fairly easy to check for. So first off, if you notice that your car is getting poor fuel economy, do you have a check engine light or service engine soon light? Uh, even if you don't, run a diagnostics because sometimes there can be shadow codes there or at least something that might point you in the right direction on uh, how to fix this. So do that first. Next, if you know that doesn't yield anything, then go ahead and consider this list, okay? So what, what kind of fuel are you running? This may seem really obvious, it's printed on the inside of the door cap, but uh, you need to be running premium, high-end fuel, whatever they call it, wherever you live, gold, whatever. Uh, it's uh, 90, you know, 93 octane in the US and 98 in countries that use the RON method. So um, there's no excuse to be running anything less than that unless you live in a place that does not sell that, then you need to be getting 91 or 95. That's That's you know, no excuses. Get the right fuel for your car. If you bought a BMW, you need to treat it well. It's it's really not that much to pay an extra 40 cents for a gallon of gas. It's a small price to pay for your car to function properly. Um, next thing, this might seem obvious too. Have you changed your oil recently? Uh, is your oil low? Um, you know, just, just check it because our cars don't have dipsticks. You got to use that gauge on the dash. It's really annoying. But, uh, if you have low fuel, then your cylinders won't lubricate properly. C cylinders are where everything happens in the engine, so you know you, you get the deal, right? Um, uh, the number three, your air filter. If it's really clogged, dirty, and old, your your engine's not gonna be able to breathe properly. It's basically imagine inhaling, and you can't get the air you need. That's basically what's happening with your engine when you have a bad air filter. So if you haven't changed your air filter in a while, or you don't know when it's been changed. Um, Go ahead and check that out. Um, on my car, so I have the Euro box, so you have to, you just take the top off, but on the US models, you have to take the box out, separate it, and it's a little more involved, but it's it's really easy. Uh, no excuse to pay anybody to do that unless you just really don't want to work on your car, but uh, incredibly easy, 20 minute job tops, $20 uh, part at AutoZone, or you could buy a, a better one online. Uh, next thing is your Vanos solenoids. So these cars have, uh, they call it Vanos, and I have a video on cleaning the solenoids. Uh, you can go check that out. It's really pretty easy to do. Just uh, be really careful when you're taking the solenoids off not to lose a little washer that's on them. It's basically like a variable valve timing system. Uh, when you hit the high RPMs, the solenoids adjust based on oil pressure, and basically you engage a new cam profile, and the car makes more power. Um, the next thing that it possibly could be is mass airflow sensor could be dirty or you could need new O2 sensors. Uh, both of these things can cause poor fuel economy and may not necessarily throw a check engine light. But uh, the O2 sensors at very least should leave some kind of shadow codes and the MAF should, but it may not. 
But you can clean the MAF. Uh, I'm going to make a video on that soon. I'm going to do that on my car because I, I think it needs to be done, and I'll go into that later at that time. Then you could have dirty injectors. If you've been running bad fuel, like say you've been buying gas at a no-name gas station, you could be getting poor fuel that's um, clogging up your injectors. You have, If you think your injectors are dirty, go ahead and run Tecron through your car. It's the same stuff that BMW sells. They say one bottle a tank, but if you think they're really dirty, go ahead and run two. Uh, I've done it plenty of times. I have had no issues. When I say plenty of times, I mean like twice. Uh, go ahead and do that, and uh, hopefully it'll help clean them out. And uh, I also run one of these uh, w before every oil change. One bottle before every oil change. So that's like one every 5,000 miles. And last but not least on my list is your ignition system. So your spark plugs, your coils. If you have, um, if they're not lighting the combustion and the combustion's not happening in a cylinder, or they're not lighting it properly, well, if they're not lighting it at all, you're going to know you're going to have misfires. But if they're just like dirty plug, like cut in oil or something, uh, then you could just suffer for poor fuel economy as opposed to having a misfire. On the M52, my original OEM ones made it about 90,000 miles. Anyway, guys, um, let me know in the comments below, too, if you've had, you know, awful fuel economy with your BMW and you figured out a way to fix it, uh, what was wrong, what did you do to fix it? Um... You know, was it one of these things I listed or was it something else? And uh, yeah, let's talk some BMW in the comments. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.